Right now, as you're watching this video, the future of air combat is taking shape in hangars and test facilities around the world. We're witnessing the most exciting period in fighter jet development since the dawn of the stealth age. From South Korea's remarkable KF-21 Boromai entering mass production to the ambitious sixth generation programs racing toward the 2030s, the next decade will completely transform aerial warfare. Today, we're counting down the top five most promising upcoming fighter jets based on their development progress, technological capabilities, and expected impact on global air power. These aren't just concept aircraft. These are real programs with flying prototypes, confirmed timelines, and game-changing potential. Trust me, what you're about to discover will show you exactly where military aviation is heading in the years ahead. The year 2025 marks a turning point in military aviation. Multiple nations are simultaneously developing next-generation fighters, creating the most competitive environment we've seen since the Cold War. Unlike previous generations where development was dominated by the United States and Russia, today's race includes innovative programs from South Korea, Turkey, Europe, and beyond. What makes this moment so fascinating is that we can actually rank these upcoming fighters based on their real-world progress, not just promises on paper. We're looking at aircraft that are either already flying, entering production, or have concrete timelines for operational deployment. These rankings consider development maturity, technological advancement, production readiness, and strategic impact. If you're as excited about these incredible developments as I am, hit that subscribe button and let's dive into our countdown of the top five upcoming fighter jets of 2025. Coming in at number five is the Global Combat Air Program's Tempest Fighter, a truly ambitious sixth generation program that brings together three of our strongest allies, the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan. The GCAP Tempest represents everything that's exciting about international aerospace cooperation. This isn't just Britain going it alone, it's a genuine three-nation partnership where BAE Systems, Leonardo, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries are combining their expertise to create something extraordinary. What sets the Tempest apart is its incredible planned capabilities. We're talking about a fighter that can carry double the weapons payload of an F-35 while having enough range to cross the Atlantic Ocean without refueling. The radar system alone will provide 10,000 times more data than current fighters. That's not a typo. 10,000 times more information for pilots to work with. The timeline is aggressive, but achievable. A demonstrator aircraft is planned to fly in 2027, with production aircraft entering service by 2035. Right now, they're already conducting extensive testing with the Excalibur flying test bed, a modified Boeing 757 that's validating the technologies that will go into the actual fighter. What's particularly impressive is the program's commitment to staying ahead of the technology curve. The Tempest is being designed with an open architecture that allows continuous upgrades throughout its service life. This means it won't become obsolete as new technologies emerge. The industrial partnership is equally remarkable. The three nations have agreed to share work equally, with about 9,000 people currently working on the program across all three countries. The UK has committed over 12 billion pounds over the next 10 years, showing serious financial backing. However, the Tempest ranks at number five because it's still primarily in the development phase. While the technology demonstrations are impressive, we won't see actual aircraft until the late 2020s. It's a program with enormous potential, but it's still several years away from becoming reality. At number four, we have Europe's other major sixth generation program, the Future Combat Air System, led by France, Germany, and Spain. This is arguably the most complex and ambitious fighter program currently in development. The FKS isn't just building a fighter, it's creating an entire system of systems. The next generation fighter will work alongside swarms of unmanned remote carriers, all connected through an advanced combat cloud that ties together air, land, sea, space, and cyber domains. France's Dassault Aviation is leading this program, bringing their legendary expertise from the highly successful Rafale program. The Germans are contributing through Airbus, while Spain is participating through Indra Sistemas. Together, they're developing technologies that could revolutionize air combat. The current timeline has a flying demonstrator expected around 2029, with operational aircraft planned for around 2040. That's later than some competitors, but the Europeans are betting that their advanced system of systems approach will make up for the delayed timeline. 
What's particularly interesting about FCAS is its focus on carrier operations from the start. This ensures France will maintain its ability to project power globally through its nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, a capability that only America and France currently possess. The program has faced some significant challenges, including tensions between the partner nations over work sharing and intellectual property. These kinds of disagreements are unfortunately common in international defense programs, but they can cause serious delays. However, recent developments suggest the program is getting back on track. Phase 1B activities have been successful, and the partners are moving toward Phase 2, which will involve much more substantial funding and hardware development. The FCAS ranks at number 4 because while it's extremely ambitious and technologically advanced, it's still largely in the early development phase. The program has enormous potential, but concrete hardware is still years away. Breaking into our top 3 is Turkey's remarkable TAI Khan a program that has achieved something truly impressive in the modern aerospace world, staying ahead of schedule. The Khan, formerly known as TFX, represents Turkey's determination to achieve strategic independence in military aviation. After being ejected from the F-35 program in 2019, Turkey accelerated development of its own fifth-generation fighter, and the results have been extraordinary. What makes the Khan so impressive is its rapid development timeline. The aircraft was only rolled out in March 2023, but it successfully completed its maiden flight in February 2024. That's less than a year from rollout to first flight, which is incredibly fast for a new fighter program. The Khan has already completed multiple test flights, reaching 10,000 feet and demonstrating stable flight characteristics. Turkish Aerospace Industries is now working on the second and third prototypes, with four aircraft planned for the complete test program. The aircraft itself is genuinely fifth-generation capable, featuring stealth shaping, advanced avionics, and the ability to supercruise. It's powered by proven General Electric F110 engines in the initial versions, with Turkey developing its own TF35000 engine for future variants. Turkey's timeline is remarkably aggressive. They plan to deliver the first 20 Khan fighters to the Turkish Air Force by 2028. That's just three years away, making this one of the nearest term programs on our list. The international interest has been substantial. Indonesia has already signed a contract for 48 aircraft, making them the first confirmed international customer. Turkey is also in discussions with Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and several other nations about potential partnerships or sales. What's particularly noteworthy is Turkey's claim that the Khan incorporates over 90% domestic content, a remarkable achievement that reduces dependence on foreign suppliers and potential export restrictions. The Khan ranks at number three because it's a real flying aircraft with confirmed production timelines and international customers. While it may not have all the sixth generation features of some competitors, it's much closer to operational reality than most other programs. Coming in at number two is America's Next Generation Air Dominance Program, the most secretive and potentially most advanced fighter program currently in development. The NGAD represents the United States' answer to emerging threats and the need to replace the legendary F-22 Raptor. This is a true sixth generation program that's been flying prototype aircraft since at least 2020, though details remain highly classified. What we do know is impressive. The NGAD fighter will be larger than current aircraft, optimized for the vast distances of Pacific operations. It will have the range to operate effectively in the Indo-Pacific theater without the extensive refueling that current fighters require. The program incorporates revolutionary technologies including artificial intelligence for battle management, the ability to control multiple unmanned collaborative combat aircraft, and sensors that provide unprecedented situational awareness. These aren't just incremental improvements, they represent fundamental changes in how air combat will work. The timeline is aggressive. The Air Force plans to begin replacing F-22s with NGAD aircraft in the 2030s, with initial operational capability, potentially as early as 2030 to 2032. The service intends to initially procure 200 NGAD fighters, along with 1,000 unmanned collaborative combat aircraft. The industrial competition has been intense, with major aerospace companies, including Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman all competing for various aspects of the program. The next-generation adaptive propulsion engine alone has involved multiple contractors in a multi-billion dollar technology race. 
What sets NGAD apart is the digital engineering approach being used throughout development. This allows rapid iteration and testing of designs in virtual environments before physical prototypes are built, potentially saving both time and money. However, the program faces some significant challenges. The cost per aircraft is expected to be substantially higher than current fighters, leading to ongoing debates about procurement numbers. There are also questions about exportability and whether key allies will be able to access this technology. The NGAD ranks at number two because it represents the cutting edge of fighter technology and has the backing of the world's largest defense budget. While much remains classified, what we do know suggests this will be the most capable fighter ever built. Taking the top spot is South Korea's KF-21 Boramai, a program that exemplifies everything we want to see in modern fighter development, real progress, practical timelines, and impressive capabilities. The KF-21 Boramai earns our number one ranking, not because it's the most advanced fighter on paper, but because it represents the perfect combination of ambition and achievability. This is a program that has consistently met its milestones and is now entering mass production. South Korea began mass production of the KF-21 in 2025, with the first production aircraft currently in final assembly. The Republic of Korea Air Force will receive its first operational aircraft in 2026, making this the earliest operational timeline of any program on our list. The aircraft itself is genuinely impressive. As a 4.5 generation fighter with selected 5th generation features, the KF-21 incorporates stealth shaping, advanced AESA radar, and sophisticated avionics. It can carry a wide range of modern weapons and has demonstrated excellent flight characteristics through over 1,000 test sorties. What makes the KF-21 particularly remarkable is its development story. South Korea has achieved approximately 65% domestic content, with plans to exceed 80% through ongoing localization efforts. This includes domestically developed AESA radar, flight control systems, and other critical technologies. The aircraft has proven its capabilities through extensive testing. It has exceeded Mach 1.8, successfully conducted aerial refueling operations, and demonstrated precision weapons delivery. Recent test flights have included senior Air Force leadership, showing confidence in the aircraft's maturity. International interest has been substantial. Indonesia remains a development partner despite some payment delays, and South Korea is actively marketing the aircraft to nations including the Philippines, Peru, and the UAE. The combination of capability and cost-effectiveness makes it attractive to many air forces. Perhaps most importantly, the KF-21 represents a new model for fighter development. South Korea has proven that middle powers can successfully develop advanced fighters without decades-long development programs or cost overruns that plague many Western programs. The production timeline is realistic and achievable. Korea Aerospace Industries plans to deliver over 120 aircraft by 2032, with Block 2 and 3 variants planned that will incorporate even more advanced capabilities, including internal weapons base. The KF-21 takes our top ranking because it delivers real capability on a realistic timeline. While other programs promise more advanced features, the Boramai is actually entering service and proving that you don't need to be a superpower to develop world-class military aircraft. Before we wrap up, let's quickly mention some honorable mentions that didn't quite make our top five but are still worth watching. India's advanced medium combat aircraft is making steady progress toward a 2035 service entry. As a 5.5 generation fighter, it represents India's determination to join the exclusive club of nations with indigenous stealth fighters. China continues developing multiple 6th generation prototypes, though reliable information remains limited. What we do know suggests they're making significant progress in next generation technologies. Sweden continues to advance the Gripen program with AI integration and other next generation features, though they haven't committed to a full sixth generation program yet. These programs all represent important developments in global military aviation, even if they don't quite match the progress and promise of our top five. The race for next generation air superiority is heating up like never before. From South Korea's practical and achievable KF-21 to the ambitious sixth-generation programs of the United States and Europe, the 2020s and 2030 will reshape military aviation. What's particularly exciting is seeing how different nations are taking different approaches. 
Some are focusing on maximum technological advancement, others on rapid deployment, and still others on international cooperation. Each approach has its merits and will contribute to the diversity of options available to Air Forces worldwide. The competition between these programs will drive innovation across the entire aerospace industry. Technologies developed for military aircraft often find their way into civilian aviation, benefiting everyone. What's clear is that the future of air combat will be more complex, more networked, and more capable than ever before. These five programs represent the cutting edge of human engineering achievement and the determination of free nations to maintain their security through technological superiority. If this deep dive into the future of fighter aircraft fascinated you as much as it did me, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights into the amazing world of military technology. Thanks for joining me on this incredible journey through the skies of tomorrow. Which of these upcoming fighters impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments below.